everyone, you're Batapesh Kumar here and today's video is a very 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 important one. Recently, in my Instagram DMs, I got a few messages from people asking me that, you know, we have received these letters from airlines for appointment as ground staff and as cabin crew. So, do you think these letters are genuine? And obviously they were fake. So I thought why not make a video for you guys and tell you how to find out genuine airline vacancies. Now this is not just only for pilots, it's also for ground staff, also for crew, basically anyone looking to find a job with an airline. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how to find out true exact vacancies from airlines and how not to fall for these scams. This global pandemic has caused a lot of losses and a lot of people are sitting at home without anything much to do and with no income sources. As a result, khali dimaag, shaitan ka ghar. So what people are doing is they're scamming other people left, right and center trying to get some money. So today I'm gonna be telling you how you can spot first of all a fake appointment letter and secondly, after that I'll tell you how you can actually watch and get to know real actual airline vacancies which airlines actually publish. So first things first, Airlines do not hire third parties to hire their own employees, which basically means if you're contacted by a third party company, any random company which says that we are representing so and so airline and we are hiring for them, that is a total lie and that is total bullshit. Except in a very, very few cases wherein the third party company will also be a pretty major and a pretty big company. For example, uh, Frankfin is one. So they are Air Hostess Training Institute and sometimes airlines do go to Frankfin to hire cabin crew. However, Frankfin is a huge company and obviously not fake. But if you get contacted by some small time company which has like a couple of people and a very shady address, just know that they are fake and they're gonna just extort money from you. Next up, let's see how you can spot a fake appointment letter. So if your appointment letter looks something like this, believe me, it is fake. Let's see how. First of all, the airline logo is it's in a very weird place, it is all pixelated and you can very clearly see that someone has made a Microsoft Word in 10 minutes. Secondly, there is going to be a lot of grammatical mistakes. Airline appointment letters are very professionally made and legal documents. So obviously, if there are grammatical mistakes and if the font is just random and it's a random signature of someone who is not even in the airline, it's fake. Also, if the appointment letter is asking you to pay some money to the third party company, then obviously, very, very obviously, please don't pay that money. They are absolutely fake. No airline is gonna ask its own ground staff or its own cabin crew or pilots to pay up money when they're being appointed. If you have to pay some money, the airline will give you proper documents, proper reasons for it. There will be no registration fee, no appointment fee, no documentation fee. These things don't happen in airlines. Before we continue, if you guys find the content useful, if you think it's good, please do consider subscribing to the channel, give it a thumbs up, leave in a comment on if you've ever been scammed by anyone. Not just aviation, have you ever been scammed? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and let's continue. Now let's look at the selection process. If the selection process consisted of you being on a phone call with some random person who couldn't even speak proper English and he was asking you random questions like tell us about yourself and why do you want to join an airline? Well, obviously fake. Airlines do not hire people over the phone. They will call you to their registered office and they will take a proper interview and then you will be hired. If your interview was conducted at a shady building where there was absolutely no people except a few random guys sitting and trying to scam the shit out of you, again, very obviously fake. To differentiate between a fake appointment letter or a fake call letter by the airline and an actual one, let me show you guys my actual appointment letter at Jedi Airways. And that should give you a better idea of what a real appointment letter looks like. So this is my actual appointment letter given to me by Jed Airways in July 14 wherein I was appointed as a first officer as in I was confirmed as a first officer. I joined Jed Airways in 2013 but in 2014 I was confirmed as a first officer on the Boeing 737 with Jet. Now as you can see the appointment letter looks very professional. The language, 
the signature, the company logo. Everything is very professional. It's a very nice quality of paper and it has the company address and all details about the company. This is my actual appointment letter when I joined the company. So 5th of April 2013 and this is appointing you the first officer on the Boeing 737 NG effective 8th of April 2013. And this, the whole letter has all the possible details, everything which was there and required all the legal documentation so as you can see it's been signed off by the deputy general manager it has all the legal requirements which are to be fulfilled and to be followed by me and the airline before joining the company and that's what an actual real appointment letter looks like don't fall for these scams so now you might ask how do i get to know about the real airline vacancies then worry not i'm gonna tell you how you can find out actual real airline vacancies for that Let's jump into the website of an airline. Let's try Indigo. So as you can see, this is the Indigo standard website. And if you go on this website towards the bottom, so somewhere down here, you'll find the careers of the website. There you go. Quick links, careers. We click on careers and a new tab opens. Now, as you can see, this is the actual original Indigo website, wherein they have described everything in detail on how it is when you work for Indigo. Now here, depending on what department of the airline that you want to join, you can look up and find out if there are any vacancies available or not. And also as you can see here, it says caution that job offer may be a scam. Indigo does not charge any money for the interviews or the recruitment like I said. So here, let's try for maybe flight operations. Since we are all pilots, let's try for this. So here we go, At, in the flight operations section, you can find out all the vacancies which are available with Indigo right now. If you want to join in flight as a crew, this is where you find out all the jobs which are available at Indigo. Same goes for every airline across India. If you want to join any airline in India, please go to their original airline website. There will be a career section and in that career section you will find out which all vacancies are currently open for that airline and how you can apply for them. That's the only, only correct way to apply at an airline, be it for any job. All the way from a pilot to anyone else in the airline, maybe a loader or a crew or a ground staff. So I hope you guys found the video informative. If you did, do drop in a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been scammed by anyone. Also, stay safe, don't fall for these traps and save your money. Wait for actual airline jobs, they will come. Aviation will bounce back very soon. This is your boy Tapesh Kumar signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.